Okay, so we're going to start on the control panel up here. Uh, when you want to use the use motor, we press this button here so it lights up blue. That's the main on off switch. When you're driving or not using the van, turn that off. If you want water to come out of the taps, you have to press the pump button, picture of a tap. And auxiliary, let me take a quick glance outside. That does the awning light. So if you want the outside awning light to come on, press the auxiliary. Apart from that, we can go up and down and we can set timers, clocks, all sorts. I use it for, uh, for viewing a few things. Leisure battery voltage, I'll then go down. Vehicle battery voltage. And if I scroll down a few more, it will show me how much water is in the fresh water tank. And one more, how much water is in the waste water tank. On these, normally waste will only show zero or 100%. Fresh goes up in 25% intervals. Okay, so it's turned on which means we're ready to go. So as you can see, all the lights are on. I've got the TV on. Another reason I didn't want to just turn it off because it would have turned the TV off as well. I just want to show the TV working over there. And what we'll do, we'll have a quick walk around the appliances. I'll show the appliances and then a few of the other little odds and sods in here. Obviously I won't show you everything. Some things will show you on the boat connection. Okay, so let's go over home. So I've turned the gas bottle on, on the outside. First thing I always do is just run a hob, make sure we've got gas coming through. Oh, no, that's the wrong one, that's the grill. So that's the back hob. You can see it at the back here. You have to hold it in for a few seconds for it to stay alight. That's the front one. Yeah, I just want to show you all these working. So that's the three hobs. The one on the back left, is an electric hot plate. It's this one here, it lights up red. That works off of mains, so you have to be hooked up with the orange cable. Right, then we've got the grill. This one, which I lit just now is the grill. So you hold this one in. Again, hold it in for a few seconds. When you're grilling, you have to make sure you keep this, this door open. And for anything other than grill hobs, make sure that glass lids up. So that's the grill. Finally, the oven. This here's your grill pan, okay, for when you're grilling. That's the oven as well. Obviously with the oven, you can shut the door. Right, always leave the glass lid up until everything's cooled down, so give it a good five minutes. This bottom storage locker, you have to push in to release it. In the back cupboard, the safe, I found my safe key, and it's this one. It's the AJL key, the safe. Okay, next to it, water, kitchen tap. Obviously, if the pump's turned off up here, you're not gonna get any water come out. So that's this tap, and if we just go into the toilet room, we've got here and obviously the shower tap as well um, with the shower what you actually have to do is swing this around quite so the shower all the way click it as far into the edge it'll go and on this side undo the latches there's actually a bit of foam here someone's put in just to stop it rattling around when you're driving which is a really good idea and then you obviously got your shower room but again when you're driving just leave it Leave that closed like so. While I'm here, we've got the toilet, the swivel toilet, so you just swivel it around. To use it, grey lever, pull towards the back of the van, give it a flush, use it, another flush, give it a few seconds, make sure you close it. If you don't close it, you won't be able to pull the cassette out on the outside. Um, when this is open, by the way, you can then bring this catch down here to hold it into place. Okay, again we've got the fridge, really simple, when you're driving, this here is the travel catch, so it stops it coming open, we've got new freezer hinges on it as well, so we simply select one, zero's off, first one's gas, you click it, it lights automatically on gas, that's all you have to do. To work it on mains when you're hooked up turn it on if there's no mains coming in it won't go green 
And finally, when the engine's running, flick it to the bottom one, which is battery. That will only work when the engine's actually running. So again, nice and simple. This catch does have an outer point as well, so you can catch it so you've got airflow. So if you're not using the van, you can leave it on the catch point so, you, so it doesn't go mouldy inside, which is always good. Okay, then we've got the pull-out surface above it, which is really handy. A bit more work surface. 230 volt microwave. Again, has to be hooked up for this to work. Then we've got hot water. Now, with the hot water, I'm just going to go outside and take the cover off what I showed you in the video. I'm going to do that now. So if you leave the cover on, it's not going to light on gas and it won't work properly on electric. So, first things first, if you're on electric hookup, so you've got the orange cable coming in, we go to the bottom one here called water heater, turn it on. That's it. You then give it half an hour, you've got hot water. Make sure you turn it off when you're finished. If you're not on electric, you have to run it on gas. To do that, we go to the panel by the door called Truma Ultra Store. And with this, we've got an inner dial and an outer dial. The outer dial, we move from zero to a flame. It goes green, I don't know if you can see that. Green, just here. That means it's running. If it can't run, it will go red. And that normally means the gas is off or you've left the cover on. Once it's green, you can then use the inner dial to select how, how hot you want the water. Anything from 30 up to 70. Again, you have to give it 20 minutes, half hour to get hot. I'm just gonna turn that off now. Like so. Next, the heating. Now the heating works on two, two operations again. It works on gas, works on electric. If you're in a field, so you've got no electric coming in, you have to run it on gas. To do that, the left-hand dial, we go from zero over to say number three. We hold it in. You probably didn't hear that, but it was sparking away. Now the sparking stopped. Count to 10. And then if I just get the camera just to show you the flame, it's very hard to see. So there we go. So that's now running on gas. So what will happen now, the heat will come out of here. If you don't want the heat coming out of here, there's air vents dotted around. You can have it coming out of those instead. And to do that, we go to the dial on the right. We push it from the dot, which is off, left. That's what I recommend going to left. And then one, two, three, four, five is the, is the speed of that fan. So, so if you listen, you probably, if I up to five, you'll hear it. So that's now number five. So the, the heat's no longer coming out of here. It's blowing out the vent really strong. The nice thing with this, you get a gentle heat. So for example, at night time, you can turn it down to number one. You don't even hear the fan running on number one. But if you, for example, go into the toilet room, middle of the night, because there's a vent in there, it'll be nice and warm. So that's really cool. As soon as you turn it off, the heat starts coming back out of here again. So now I'm going to turn it off, so all the way back to zero, and I'm going to show you how to run on electric. So this is a two-phase action. We go into here, second one up is called heater, we turn it on. The next thing we do is go to this panel up here called Truma Ultra Heat. So we've turned it on in the wardrobe first. So that means this is now powered up ready. And I've got a selection. At the moment, zero's off. We've got 500, 1,000 or 2,000. So half a kilowatt, one kilowatt or two kilowatt. So let's up it to 1,000, which is one kilowatt. It goes green. If it doesn't go green, it's probably because you haven't turned it on in the wardrobe. And then the thermostat's the inner dial for how, how hot you want it. So that activates the elements on the heater. So again, the heat will start coming out of here after a few minutes. If you don't want it coming out of here, flip the fan on and that will start coming out the blowers instead. So again, nice and straightforward. Turn it back off. Lastly, in this wardrobe, there was a third switch above it. Which is on already. If you forget, it says here what it is. The top one's the aircon unit, second's heater, third's water heater. That powers this controller on up here. And all we do, we press the power button so it goes green. We've got fan, speed, temperature, select. And it starts 
blowing out all these vents. Have to give it sort of five minutes. It's okay, they're okay, thank you very They're very good. Um, you need to have good power coming into the van for this to work, good electric. And that's it, the only downside is they are quite noisy. And that's it, again, it's worth turning that off when you're not using it. While I'm in the wardrobe, just to show you, we've got uh, the mains charger button here. So this is telling us we've got mains coming in, it's all working. We've got 240 trips here, and then just down here, if you can see that, we've got the, all the different blade fuses. So for example, if your lights stop working, check the fuse, everything's all in the book for this. Okay, now, what have we got next? Lines and windows. So all the windows, they've got fly strings with a clip on that holds them together. And nightshades. Nightshades don't have a clip because a clip only works on my flight screen. The windows themselves, when you open, undo the latches, open it, and you'll hear a click. At that point, it will stop. If you want it up more, next click point. To bring it down, you have to go right to the top, and then it will drop all the way down. Don't force it. Make sure all your windows and your roof vents are closed when you're driving. And bring me onto this one, I'm just going to wind this up. Again, make sure it's all the way down. To close it, keep winding till there's a bit of resistance. Like that. When you unwind it as well for the first time in a long time, help it up because it can stick to the rubber. So always help it up the first. Again, fly screen, nice shape. So we've got the same combination based on everything. We've got nightshades on everything. Nightshades on the door. The door one's slightly different. You have to squeeze it in. There's a plastic mechanism on it. You squeeze that in like so, release it before you bring it all the way up. I'm flying it from the top. We've got a little small kitchen extractor here with some bits on it as well. Okay, then. We've got the electric step switch is the round switch just here. So you give it a tap, closes, no a tap, and it opens. The light switch above the Truma Ultra Store controller does the top lighting all around the top of the vehicle. Right, so it's nice at night time. Uh, then also we've got the TV. So we've just got it running so you can see it. Wherever you go, you're gonna to have to do a retune on the remote because all the all the different stations work off of different frequencies. Um just gonna show you a few more bits. Obviously, you've got your bed here. The bottom bed will show you when you're here. This is just literally lift and come forward. And then here you've got a, a thing to stop you running out of bed at night time. All the ladder, everything's at the top. Again, we've got another roof end, nightshade, nice screen. The front two seats do swivel. There's a lever just here. Gray lever. Do a like that. And off you go. You might have to open up the door a little bit to swivel it. And you've got a glove box down here. Another glove box and a top glove box. The driving simple indicators left. Wipers right. Um, cruise control here. Six speed gearbox reverse. You lift this up, go over to the left and up. At night time. When you're in here, press the lock button here. This will lock the cab doors. And then on the back door to lock that, there's the little old fashioned knob sticking up on it. Push that down and that will lock it. And over here, we've got electric windows and electric mirrors. And obviously at night time, you're gonna have to close these curtains round. So that's nice and simple. Um, I think that is about it. There's just one thing I wanna show you on the outside, which I forgot to show you earlier. And that's where the diesel goes. So now I'm pretty much done in here. I'm going to turn this off on my way out. So I always turn these off. And then lastly, press the power button. As you can see, all the lights have gone off. The TV's off. Everything. We've left you a box of random bits out here. Which are in the cupboards. You can tell us tomorrow if you want those. This is where the water um, pipe goes. Pipe lives as well. And obviously this is where the diesel goes. So, obviously, very important, you know where the diesel goes. And it's the ignition key. 
you put that in anti-clockwise to fill your diesel. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so this is a button on the door shut. You push that down to lock the back door.